Can you bully proof your child? Well, Brit Mums have asked me to vlog about bullying and I'm going to think about it from a teaching point of view rather than a parent's point of view. My children are only little still, so they've not had that much experience of bullying. And I'm not offering and saying that this is going to solve everything or this is why children do or don't get bullied, but these are just behaviours that I've observed in the classroom that I think have been quite successful in helping children to resist bullying and there's also quite a lot of research to back some of these up. I'm thinking about this not just as a teacher and a head of department in the secondary school but also as a um, drama teacher and I think as a drama teacher you're much more in tune with behaviours and interactions um, so I think that's given me quite an interesting perspective on things. So the first tip would definitely be about activities and I was quite interested to read that children who have got hobbies, interests, ideas of their own are much more bully proof and I think that's definitely true and it doesn't have to be that they're involved in the same thing as everybody else. I think there's a real danger in trying to normalise children and make everybody the same. Um, children have got their own ideas and opinions and much more resistant to bullies. If you can stand up tall and teach a child to keep the head held high and to have a calm expression on their face, particularly that calm expression, I read a um, brilliant piece of research that said children with a calm expression on their face are much less likely to attract conflict and it makes complete sense. Bullies like parents tune into that whingy whiny sound and so it's just sort of keeping that in check with your child, helping them to speak assertively to make sure what they want to say is heard. and. It might just be a case of rehearsing things with them or even role playing situations can be really, really helpful if they've got to talk to a teacher or a friend about something difficult. I think a lot of children don't realise that they're staring at each other and obviously sometimes bullies are the sort of people who really do invite people to look at them. Um, and that just that eye contact can be quite a powerful thing. If children can avoid staring, avoid making eye contact with difficult people and just keeping again that calm face. All of that can be really helpful. Research also shows that um, the most powerful thing in combating bullying is not being on your own, which makes complete sense. So it's a really hard time, I think, particularly those early years at secondary school, but helping children to form friendships um, then is really important. And all the time and effort that parents put into that is it's not put to waste. There's other little tricks, you know, just giving bullies a wide berth. Get, children often aren't as aware of space and, you know, how kind of they're invading each other's space. So again, just learning to respect each other's space I think is really important as well. In terms of parents and dealing with bullying, I would always encourage discussion. I think the sooner you can start discussing bullying with your child, the better. Very often children won't come to the parents and talk about what's ha really happening, what's really worrying them. So just keeping that dialogue open is great. It also encourages children to bully-proof their whole school community and zero tolerance schools where bullying just doesn't happen or happens you know, infrequently is dealt with incredibly fast. Those sort of zones rely on children challenging bullying as well and having a zero tolerance attitude to it as well. Emotionally, I think children do learn to, um, or can learn to bully-proof themselves. The children who are able to just throw away those comments and move on um, are much less likely to get into confrontation with bullies. So I used to get children to imagine throwing comments in the bin, and if someone says, I don't want to play with you, well, throw that comment in the bin and say, well, I'm going to go and play with one of my other friends. Or if someone says, I don't like you, throw that comment away, think about and say I like myself or so and so likes me you know it doesn't bother me it's again being able to brush off those comments and replace them with something much more positive to anyone who's going through this you know really really feel for you it's a really horrible difficult thing to work through and if you're struggling with the school or you want to talk to somebody objective there are loads of organizations and I'll put the names of them at the bottom and yeah, my daughter starts school in September, so I've got all this to face as a parent too.